but if you pay them, Facebook will run any political ad you want, even if it's a lie. And they'll even help you micro-target those lies to their users for maximum effect. Under this twisted logic, if Facebook were around in the 1930s, it would have allowed Hitler to post 30-second ads on his solution to the Jewish problem. We're not asking these companies to determine the boundaries of free speech across society. We just want them to be responsible on their platforms. Now, if a neo-Nazi comes goose-stepping into a restaurant and starts threatening other customers and saying he wants to kill Jews, would the owner of the restaurant, a private business, be required to serve him an elegant eight-course meal? Of course not. The restaurant owner has every legal right and indeed, I would argue, a moral obligation to kick that Nazi out. And so do these internet companies. Democracy, which depends on shared truths, is in retreat. And autocracy, which depends on shared lies, is on the march. Hate crimes are surging, as are murderous attacks on religious and ethnic minorities. Now, what do all these dangerous trends have in common? I'm just a comedian and an actor, I'm not a scholar, but one thing is pretty clear to me. All this hate and violence is being facilitated by a handful of internet companies that amount to the greatest propaganda machine in history. <laughs> Voltaire was right when he said, those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. And social media lets authoritarians push absurdities to billions of people. I believe that it's time for a fundamental rethink of social media and how it spreads hate, conspiracies, and lies. So here's a good standard in practice. Facebook, start fact-checking political ads before you run them. Stop micro-targeted lies immediately. And when the ads are false, give back the money and don't publish them.